Hi, today we are reviewing Cyberverse Hot Rod. <coughs> I don't know if there's any other ones to this toy line. I don't really pay attention to this one. I've only watched a couple of episodes of cartoon. It didn't catch my interest. But Hot Rod is one of the three characters that I collect. Um, along with Sunstreaker and Jazz. Well, three and a half if you include Volkswagen Bumblebees. But, so let's go ahead and take a look. <coughs> it is Hot Rod. It is... Well, not really much to look at. There's no articulation in the arms. Head churns, but doesn't do much else. The only articulation really is the arms can go up and down. The knees can go forward and back a little bit, but you do get knee bend, so you do get some posability. Um, I guess this whole line is based off of a gimmick where they all have like powers and stuff, <coughs> which I understand. Uh, his is called Fusion Flame. Now, I immediately lost the instructions when I opened this today, so I don't know if Fusion Flame does anything in vehicle mode. But for robot mode, oops, sorry, you just kind of bring the arms up a little bit, and he gets flames popping out. Yay, not the biggest thing, but hey, it's a hot rod figure. I do enjoy it. Um, I don't have any other hot rods out at the moment to really compare it with, um, with the exception of Creo. And I do have Unicron, Rodimus Unicronus out, but I don't feel like breaking him apart at the moment. Um, got my Halloween display and I said he's part of it. Alright, as far as transformation goes, it is simple. This is a kid's line. <coughs> um, but I do want to point out that it is really, really tight. These tabs and stuff are really freaking tight. And if you don't line them up just right, they won't do anything. So I went ahead and you saw me do that. In the back here, you're just going to pull out this hood here. Uh, yeah, hood. Just flip it down for now. Chest tabs in. And it's really tight, like I said, and this comes up. Head is going to go down into here. Then this comes up and over. You can kind of straighten this up, but you're not going to push it down quite yet. <coughs> Arms, you're just really simple. going to fold in. Now, you can see these here, they go here, and they go here, but there's also these ones here that tab into the legs, and when you try to get this back out of robot mode, it is very tight to do, um, so you actually have to kind of pry, and it kind of makes me worry that a lot of kids are going to break this particular figure, but it is what it is. Um, come on. See, like, what I mean is everything is really tight. I don't know why the Studio Series can't be this well quality control. <coughs> then you just take the hood, and it attaches just onto there. Do, 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 do. There we go. And you get a muscle car. And it is an awkward-looking muscle car. It looks more like a muscle... Well... I really don't know my cars, but it just does not look aerodynamic at all. It does roll on its wheels, but it just doesn't look sleek. And Hot Rod is supposed to be one sleek bot, you know? But if you take a look, he does, of course, get his traditional flame pattern. He does get his blue roof. He does get an arm that does not want to tap in. Seriously. But... Overall, you know, it's a nice little figure. It is for kids. Um, nothing really to brag about. Again, I don't know if those are flames are supposed to do anything in car mode because I lost the instructions upon opening it. But otherwise, eh, it's a hot rod toy. So if you're a fan of a hot rod, if you're a hot rod collector like I am, um, go ahead and grab this. If you're a fan of the toy line or have a kid that likes the toy line, I can see them digging it. But for older adults, it's not really much to go off. Of. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and freeze this frame. Thank you for watching.